Hey guys, the objective of this video is to find the ultimate moment hogging, and now we're including the bottom steel. Just before I start, I highly recommend you watch the previous video, because I will be assuming a couple things that you already know from the previous video. So, we have this setup here. Now, unlike the previous video, we have a compression in our steel, and we also have strain in our steel for compression. Okay, so we didn't have this before, we didn't have any strain there, and we didn't have any compression in our bottom steel. But now we have this case. So, for the concrete, it's the exact same case as before. That's why I'm gonna skip through it. We do the compression in the concrete, we find alpha two, we find gamma, and we can find that the compression in the concrete is this formula over here, and we find it to be 5236DN. So including that bottom area of steel is not gonna affect the compression in the concrete at all. All right, so that's why I want you to watch the previous video where I go and explain all this and calculate it. So if you don't understand it, go watch the previous video where I explain all this. And for, and for this case, when we're including the bottom steel, the compression in the concrete won't change. Now for the steel, once again, we're gonna assume that the top steel is at, at, its, at yield because it's at mo ultimate moment, okay? So this top steel over here, the, the steel in tension, we're assuming is at yield. And just like before, it's just gonna be the yield stress times the area. We did this before, 500 by two by pi by 14 squared, because these top bars were N28 bars. Solving that, we'd get 615752 newtons, okay? So the tension in the steel and the compression in the concrete are both unchanged from the previous video. We now just need to include the um, bottom steel, all right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna assume that the bottom steel is still elastic, okay? So we're assuming that this bottom steel over here, it hasn't yielded. And it's a fair enough assumption because most of the work's gonna be done by the concrete. So we're gonna assume the bottom steel is elastic. That means we need to find the strain in the bottom steel. The way we find the strain in the bottom steel is by doing similar triangles. So by similar triangles, we're gonna say that the strain in the steel E subscript S on point 003, so we're doing similar triangles of this big triangle and this smaller triangle.